What's up ladies and gentlemen and everyone between Hooker here and today, today, hopefully, hopefully I can get your DK2 working. Let's just get right into it. There were three major updates with NVIDIA, Oculus, and Microsoft that ended up screwing up the DK2. Um, first from Microsoft in April they came out with the KV update which ended up including a lot of the drivers which ended up being hidden because they're also including the drivers so the Oculus installation software could not see it. That's one of the major updates. Um, if you're having problems installing your Oculus with the latest software, just uh, click the link in the video. That's how to get rid of that KB error. The second major update was with NVIDIA. They've been coming out with the last three or four drivers that they came out with have been total shit. Um, you're going to have to roll back your drivers. And this is what this tutorial is. It's how to roll back your drivers without doing it the stupid way that's going to corrupt your registry. Then, the last update, the major update, was from Oculus themselves. Um, it was with the Star Trek bridge update, the bridge crew update, um, that ended up screwing it all up without everything else. It, it was just a, a worse storm possible. It was the perfect storm that all came together. What I believe Oculus is doing is that they're going down the route of Apple. Um, I've had my Oculus, my, my Rift, since day one, since they came out, you know? And uh, I feel that Oculus is creating updates in order to push out the DK2s and the developer kits and the DK1s, which, because they want you to buy a, a CV1. Um, the DK2 is fully and perfectly capable of doing whatever the CV1 does. So on that note, Oculus, you're really fucking up. It's not cool what you're doing to your customers. It's not doing what. It's not cool what you're doing to your developers. So, let's let's you know now that's out of the way. Let, let's get to it. The drivers that we're gonna need is three eight one point eight nine. Nothing higher, guys. Nothing higher. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go online. We're gonna go to the Nvidia website. I'm gonna link it below. You're gonna go here to manual search, okay? You're gonna enter in all your information that goes to your computer. Hopefully you know it. If you don't, you know, Google it. And then just hit start search. Once you hit start search, it's gonna show all the drivers, okay? As you see, 381.89 is the, the release that we need. Anything higher than that conflicts with the Oculus. Anything lower than that, you're gonna be in good shape, okay? So, once you've downloaded that driver, the next program I want you to download is Driver Disk Uninstaller, okay? This is very important because we're going to need to uninstall the graphics card inside the computer, which, at which point we're going to need to restart the computer. The reason we're doing this is so we don't corrupt the registry, we don't corrupt your drivers, okay? Once, the link should be below. Once you downloaded this, move it onto your desktop, okay? If you don't know how to move files onto your desktop, then I don't know what you're doing with an Oculus. No offense. Alright, the next thing, once you move the disk driver uninstaller onto your desktop, I want you to right click and then create a new folder. Once you've created a new folder, take disk driver uninstaller and drag it into said folder. Great, if you're following so far, you're doing really good. I'm proud of you. At which point you're going to open up that folder and you're going to see the program that you just dragged in there and then I want you to click it and extract it. Just go to run, extract. At which point it's going to open up a bunch of subfolders. This is why we did it in a new folder so we don't have a bunch of nasty folders hanging on our ground on our desktop. At which point I want you to go to driver uh, display driver on the installer and then just click it and then just run it. Alright at which point you're either going to have a shield you know asking an administrator and just hit yes. And then you're going to have a, another box pop up and then just hit launch. Once you hit launch, it's going to tell you all the software that you have in your computer, what GPU you're, what, uh, what GPU you're using, um, the driver update, and all that other good stuff. The only option I want you to worry about is clean and restart, okay? When you're ready to click that and you're ready to do that, just click it. It's going to uninstall the driver and it's also going to restart the computer. So you might have to come back to this video or just watch this through and then come back. Once your drivers are completely uninstalled, your, your screen is going to look all wonky and whatnot. Okay? Now, install the driver that I told you to install. Okay? This is really important. Install 
381.89. You, you should really know how to be able to install drivers. If you don't, just go to start, go to downloads. Alright, as you can see, the NVIDIA driver is here. Just, just click it. Just, you know, get it running. Get it running. It's, it's not that hard, guys. Alright, at which point um, you did that, you should have your Oculus software installed and uh, you should be good to go. You should be good to go. If this if this didn't fix it, um, definitely, definitely, uh, leave me, you know, I'm, I'm curious as to why I didn't fix it. And hopefully we can figure this out. If you guys have any solutions or anything like that, um, definitely shoot it my way. This should have fixed it for you. If this didn't fix it, I'm still working on it, guys. But uh, I know this works, and so hopefully this helps. This is Hooker signing out. If this helped, definitely leave a like. If it didn't, uh, leave a comment below so I can't help you. Later, guys.